Hello, today we embark on an exciting journey back in time to explore the legendary sitcom Only Fools and Horses. I'm sure many of you have fond memories of this classic show. Only Fools and Horses is a timeless gem that has left indelible mark on television history. Join us as we relive the magic, revisiting those with the entire cast of then and now. We will explore the names and initial ages of the talented actors on the show and witness their transformation in 2024. So, without further ado, let's dive into the world of Only Fools and Horses. Dennis Lil was born in 1942 in the sitcom he plays Alan Perry. In 1989, when he joined the sitcom, he was 47 years old and now he's 81. What you drinking? Ooh, just a lemonade for me, thanks Joe. Drink I had with you last week, it knocked me sideways. Hardly touch the stuff these days, and Pam, my wife, she doesn't really agree with drinking. No? Yeah. 1959. I love you, old buggers. <laughs> I need to put my glasses on, because I uh, can't read as well as I. Buster Merrifield was born in 1920. In the sitcom, he plays Uncle Albert Trotter. In 1985, when he was in the sitcom, he was 65 years old, and sadly he passed away on June 23rd, 1999, at 78. Looked a bit chirpy. <laughs> <laughs> Lie me that laugh of yours. Sounds like someone trying to push start a larder. <laughs> All this is that when I walk along the street, I suppose 7 out of 10 people recognise me, but people break into a smile. And that's wonderful. Nicholas Lindhurst was born in 1961. In the sitcom, he plays Rodney Trotter. In 1981, when he joined the sitcom, he was 20 years old. And now he's 62. <laughs> oh, me? Depressed? No, of course not, Del. I'm on top of the world. I feel like a born-again eunuch. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'll apply for a mail-order course with Exit? Went out on stage to collect it. Terrified. Terrified. Don't do this sort of thing very often and don't pick up these very often, but uh, yeah, it was uh, very flattering, very, very humbling. Leonard Pierce was born in 1915. In the sitcom, he plays Granddad. In 1981, when he joined the sitcom, he was 66 years old and sadly he passed away on December 15, 1984, at the age of 69. Let's just suppose, just suppose that we do build this thing, right? Where are we going to put it? Well, you always fancied a little weekend place. Why don't we find a spot in the new forest? <laughs> Talking like that, you know, oh, yeah. oh laddie. Yes, you see, I had a Cockney accent when I was a kid. Yeah. And I had to go to drama school and learn to get out of it. David Jason was born in 1940. In the sitcom, he plays Derek Del Boy Trotter. In 1981, when he was in the sitcom, he was 41 years old, and now he's 84. The original diagnosis was correct. <laughs> Look. Hey, come on. What sort of bloke do you think I am, eh? Cheat me own brother. Uh, the difference between how they are in real life and the parts that they play. So it comes as a bit of a surprise. Winnet Strong was born in 1959. In the sitcom, she plays Cassandra Trotter. In 1989, when she joined the sitcom, she was 30 years old and now she's 64. Two main ladies in my life, Joanne and Cassie. Know where I'm coming from on this one. Stephen was telling me about the projected world growth areas the other day over brunch. And Africa is where experience and we were all really happy together and we all miss it a hell of a lot. So it's really nice to be here today and meet everyone again and have a kind of a reunion. Are you ever taken back by how many people? John Chalice was born in 1942. In the sitcom he plays Boise. In 1981, when he was in the sitcom, he was 39 years old, and sadly he passed away on September 17, 2021, at the age of 79. Oh, you are finished all right. Look what you've done to my vestibule. I've got paint on me carpets, paint on me chandeliers, paint on me Chippendale telephone seat. Well, you can't help but drop it to her. They do the evening thing with Susanna Reid as well, who's mm. his partner, and um, he just never stopped talking. Oh. And he's just so arrogant. I mean, oh, God. Jim Broadbent was born in 1949. In the sitcom, he plays Roy Slater. In 1983, when he joined the sitcom, he was 34 years old, and now he's 74 years old. It's like only yesterday I was pounding the beat around here. They were the good old days, weren't they, eh? Terrific. 
um, slightly more violent world, I think it's fair to say. Yeah, it was wonderful. Being Game of Thrones is um, a unique experience, and I, I was so impressed, so impressed by that. Roger Lloyd Pack was born in 1944. In the sitcom, he plays Trigger. In 1981, when he was in the sitcom, he was 38 years old, and sadly he passed away on January 16, 2014, at the age of 69. Sound a lot better, don't I? Yeah, that's right. And you can switch him off. <laughs> Still, at least my ban on his singing's worked. Last night it was Trotter the Younger and his dopey mates. Dates. Uh getting a house in auction was the only way we would have been able to afford to get somewhere around here. Uh, and, um... Paul Barber was born in 1951. In the sitcom, he plays Denzel. In 1983, when he was in the sitcom, he was 32, and now he's 72. Come on, Sylvester, talk to Denzel. Say Viv Richards is king. <laughs> Come on, let me hear them golden tones. Come on. You're looking a year younger, rather than a year older. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I've just, um, I've just finished. Well, not finished actually. I'm still filming it. Called um, One Night in Istanbul, which is. A Gary Cowper was born in 1958. In the sitcom, she plays Lisa. In 1986, when she joined the sitcom, she was 28 years old, and now she's 65. Oh, cheese. Oh, I really think Rodney should go to hospital with his face. Yeah, I know. I've been telling him that for years. <laughs> <laughs> Kenneth McDonald was born in 1950. In the sitcom, he plays Mike Fisher. In 1983, when he joined the sitcom, he was 33 years old. And sadly, he passed away on September 6, 2001, at the age of 50. You both got tickets for Saturday's party? Mm. I can tell you're looking forward to it. Here. Roy Heather was born in 1935. In the sitcom, he plays Sid. In 1982, when he was in the sitcom, he was 47 years old, and sadly he passed away on September 3rd, 2014, at the age of 79. Usual bacteria on toast, you know. <laughs> One day I'll smack him in the mouth. Yeah, if you can find it. <laughs> Here, coming down the nag's head tonight. Mm. When we reflect on the incredible journey of only fools and horses that took place between 1981 and 2003, witnessing their growth and transformation, we can see that the connection from those years left a lasting legacy. Their story continues to resonate with fans around the world. And as always, show some love, hit the like button, subscribe for more, and hit the bell to never miss my new content.